just a girl, like any other girl. I was going to kindergarten, um, playing with my cousins after school. And one day my parents told me that we were going to move to the United States. And I don't think I knew what that meant back then, but I was excited. So when we made our way over here, I was still a kid, and I still went to school and played with my sisters. But suddenly I realized I wasn't just a kid. Now I was the little Mexican or the little Latina kid. That didn't bother me back then. But when I got to high school, I started asking myself, what does it mean to be Mexican? What does it mean to be a Latina living in the United States? So I asked myself, does being Latina mean I should go to all the Latino festivals? Does it mean I should learn to dance salsa like they were earlier? Or more frightening, does it mean I alone suddenly become a representative for the largest minority in the United States? Yeah. Yes. We make up 17% of the population and that's only growing. Around the same time I started asking myself these questions. My mom came up to me and asked me if I wanted to volunteer for this organization, Las Damas Latinas. And I said, at 16, why would I want to hang out with these ladies? <laughs> well, I won anyway, and I'm glad I did. Uh, since I started volunteering and spending time with Las Damas, I've learned a lot. From Soledad, a previous board member, I learned that Latinos are really diverse. And it sure is fun learning just how much. She showed me, and still continues to show me, how much fun Colombians can be with their dances <laughs> and their customs. From Raquel, another previous board member, I learned the importance of education. From Ana Maria, the former president, uh, we shared concerns about the current and past oppression of our people. And I also learned the importance of politics in our community. From my mother, another previous board member, well, from her I learned just about everything. <laughs> but from all of them, most importantly, I learned just how important and how lucky I was to have been given all the opportunities that I have been given here in the United States. In 2010 and in 2013, I was lucky enough to receive a scholarship from Nazaras. And that in 2010, I started my undergrad career at the Ohio State University. Oh, wait. I chose public health as my major. Um, this is because it looks at health disparities, and one of those disparities being how race and ethnicity can affect your health. So being Latino does affect your health if you're living here in the United States. But that's a whole other conversation for another day. Um, and this past May, I graduated, and I'm now working, <laughs> and I'm now working at Ohio Health. Um, so, who am I now? I may still be that Mexican girl to some, but I'm also a woman, a sister, a friend, a daughter, a college graduate, American. American. I'll become a citizen last year, too. <laughs> I know that I'm a professional Latina now, living in the United States, and I'm proud of that. Thank you, though. Oh.